Hey everyone, and welcome back to TechWise Stream. It's Jesse, your go-to for uh, you know keeping up with all the cool stuff in tech. And I'm Laura, ready to jump into the latest buzz. Today we're diving into some rumors about Apple shaking things up in the smart home scene, like potentially revolutionizing how we interact with our homes. We've been digging into whispers about Apple creating a smart doorbell and lock system using Face ID, unlocking your door just by looking at it. <laughs> it sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. What do you think? That's a bold move for sure. Um, think about never fumbling for your keys in the dark or juggling groceries. Apple oh. seems to be betting on convenience as a major selling point. Yeah, for sure. That's something we can all appreciate. But wouldn't this also mean expanding facial recognition technology even more? What are the implications of that? That's the big question, isn't it? Apple is really good at keeping their upcoming products under wraps. But judging by what we've seen so far, it seems like they're going all in on this smart home vision. So it's not just about the door locks. What else are they working on? From what we've gathered, they're not stopping at doorbells and locks. There's also talk of a potential home security camera that integrates with a rumored smart home hub. A whole ecosystem. Wow. It seems like they're aiming to connect everything in your house. Are they trying to catch up to Amazon and Google who are already pretty established in this space? It's hard to say for sure, but it wouldn't be surprising if they saw an opportunity to, you know, create a distinct offering. You have to remember, Apple has a knack for entering markets a bit later and then shaking things up with their design and user experience. True. They've definitely disrupted industries before. This could be a huge deal. Mm -hmm. But Laura, what about the privacy concerns? A lot of people are already wary of facial recognition technology. Right. It's one thing to unlock your phone. But giving access to your whole house just by looking at it, that might be a bit unsettling for some people. What do you think? It's definitely a valid concern. And it's one that Apple would need to address very carefully. They've built their brand on privacy, so they'll need to demonstrate a strong commitment to security and data protection to make this work. So how do you think they'll approach this challenge? Well, if their past practices are any indication, I suspect we'll see a combination of on-device processing to minimize data sharing and robust encryption measures. They might even offer options for users to customize their security settings and limit data collection. So giving users control over their data, yeah. that makes sense. They'd have to be very transparent about how this technology works. Absolutely. But you know what I find really interesting about this? Apple might actually be able to leverage its late entry into the smart home market to their advantage. How so? Well, they've had the opportunity to observe what's worked and hasn't worked for their competitors. They can learn from those experiences and potentially address some of the pain points that users have raised about existing smart home systems. You mean things like interoperability issues, clunky interfaces, and concerns about data privacy. Exactly. Apple could come in with a fresh perspective and a focus on simplicity and security which could really resonate with consumers who are hesitant to adopt smart home technology because of those very concerns. That's a really interesting point. So it's not just about catching up. It's about doing things differently and potentially better. Yeah. But we're getting ahead of ourselves here. This is all still very much in the rumor stage, right? Yes, absolutely. We're likely still a while away from seeing any of these products hit the market. It could be late next year or even later before we get any official announcements from Apple. So while it's fun to speculate and imagine the possibilities, we'll have to wait and see what Apple actually delivers. But in the meantime, what do you think about the potential impact of these rumored products on the smart home market? I think it has the potential to be a game changer. If Apple manages to pull this off and create a seamless and secure smart home ecosystem, it could put a lot of pressure on established players like Amazon and Google to innovate and improve their offerings. And it could also attract a whole new wave of consumers who've been on the fence about smart home technology oh, okay. because of privacy or complexity concerns. Exactly. It's definitely a development worth watching closely. The future of how we interact with our homes could be about to get a whole lot more interesting. You got that right. But for now, we want to hear from you, our listeners. What are your thoughts on Apple potentially shaking up the smart home market with Face ID and a whole suite of new devices? Are you excited about the possibilities or are you concerned about the privacy implications? Head over to the comments section and let us know what you think. And hey, while you're at it, why not subscribe to TechWise Stream so you don't miss out on any of our deep dives into the latest and greatest in tech. We're dropping new episodes every week packed with expert insights and the latest tech news. Until next time, stay curious. You know what really stands out to me is uh, how this could change how we think about a smart home. What do you mean? Well, right now it's mostly about convenience, right? Turning on lights with your voice or adjusting the thermostat from your phone. 
But with Apple integrating Face ID into home access and security, it could become much more personal and intuitive. So it becomes less about commands and more about the house responding to you. Exactly. Like picture walking up to your door and it just unlocks. Or the security camera recognizing you and turning off the alarm. It's a level of integration we haven't really seen yet. That does sound pretty cool. But Jesse, wouldn't that depend on how well the technology works? I mean, Face ID on our phones is great, but it still has its limits. What happens when it's raining or dark? Or if you're wearing a hat? That's a great point. Laura Apple would definitely have to make sure the tech is good enough for those real world situations. They can't have people locked out of their homes because of a bug. For sure. And what about security? Could someone trick the system with a photo or a mask? That's where things get really interesting. Apple would need to make the system super secure. To prevent any kind of breaches, they might have to add extra layers of verification, like voice recognition or a passcode, to be sure it's really you at the door. So like multi-factor authentication for your house. Makes okay. sense. You wouldn't want just anyone to be able to walk in. Exactly. And that brings up how much control users would have over security. Would they be able to customize it, or would it be one size fits all? Those are good questions. Yeah. We'll have to see how Apple handles it. but. What about the other piece of this puzzle, the smart home hub? How would that work with all of this? Well, I think the hub will be the brains of this whole operation, connecting all the devices like the doorbell locks and the security camera, maybe even things like lights and appliances, mm. and allowing them to talk to each other. And with how much Apple cares about user experience, I bet they'll make it easy to control and automate everything. Exactly. They'll probably use Siri and the Home app to create a single interface that's easy to use. So you could control your door, thermostat, and lights, all from your phone or Apple Watch. Yeah. And even more than that, imagine setting up routines that adjust your home automatically. Like when you get home from work, the lights come on, the temperature changes, and your music starts playing. Wow, that sounds amazing. It makes you wonder where this is all going. Mm. If Apple creates this kind of personalized smart home, what does it mean for how we live in our homes? It's hard to say, but I think we're at the beginning of a big change in how we think about our living spaces. Our homes are becoming more connected to our digital lives, seamlessly integrated with our devices and what we like. And as technology keeps getting better, who knows what else is possible? Maybe one day we'll control everything with our minds. Now that would be something. But let's stick with what we know for now. Apple entering the smart home market is big news. It'll be interesting to see what happens. Totally. And we want to hear what you think, too. Do you think Apple will change the smart home market? Are you excited or worried about what it could mean for privacy? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to TechWise Stream for more deep dives into the world of tech. We'll be back next week with more insightful discussions on all things tech. Until then, stay curious. So as we wrap up, you know, it's clear that Apple entering the smart home market has brought up a lot of questions. For sure. It really gets you thinking about the future of our homes and how we use tech. Yeah. One thing that really got me is how big their plan is. They're not just talking about devices, but a whole ecosystem for your home. And they're doing it in a very Apple way, focusing on design, the user, and privacy. But as we said, there are some concerns about security and data. Right. It's a balancing act, and we'll see how they handle it. I think whether this works comes down to if people trust Apple with their data. Yeah, trust is super important when we're talking about tech that have access to our homes and lives. Exactly. And it's not just Apple. It's a bigger conversation about tech's role in our lives and what it all means. We need to be informed, ask questions, and think about our choices as consumers. Well said. That wraps up this deep dive. We hope you found it insightful and interesting. As always, we want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on Apple and this smart home stuff? Are you excited or worried? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this episode, why not subscribe to TechWise Stream so you don't miss out on any of our future deep dives. We're here each week to bring you expert insights and analysis on the latest trends and all the innovations shaping our digital world. Until next time, stay curious.